guys. You are like a blinding light a little bit. I'm Jen, welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I am about to make a little smoothie for lunch. Not so little, probably a pretty big smoothie. And I wanted to share it with you. Today I wanna to start a get healthy with me series because it's winter and it's kind of hard to make healthy choices, whether it's food choices or exercise choices. And I think there's a lot of options, but sometimes it's hard to know how can I eat well and how can I get exercise in when it's so cold outside or when I have a million other things to do. So I want to make it a priority this winter to be healthy, be my best self, not for anybody else, not for appearances, purposes. Eating healthy, getting some exercise in, improves my mood, makes me feel better about myself, actually motivates me to do more and fuels me through the winter, makes it more of an enjoyable season to be in. So we've started making some different choices. Um, well, mostly me, Chris, actually, he's really, look at him over there, focus. <laughs> Hi, doggos. He actually does a lot of the farm chores in the winter, so he gets a lot of exercise and stuff doing that. Anywho, we're gonna start by making a smoothie for lunch. I'm gonna make a big smoothie and I'm definitely gonna eat some more, more things later. Um, but we just actually went on a little jog slash walk down our street and back. I'll post a little couple of clips that I took while we were doing that. got to visit one of our neighbor's dogs and see one of our neighbor's miniature horse and donkeys and they're so cute. Hi babies. Hi. You're so little. And it was really fun. We actually, you know, we realized, oh, this would be a great opportunity to connect with our neighbors more. So it was just nice to get outside. It was beautiful. The sun kind of came out. It wasn't very windy. And so now I'm gonna make a smoothie after a little mini workout. I'm gonna make a green smoothie using some greens that I actually just picked outside. We're getting a thaw today, so I was able to pick some kale from the garden. It's a little floppy, but it will be just perfect for smoothies. Throw that in with some, with some um, home-brewed kombucha. I actually like adding kombucha to smoothies. It's a nice way to get those probiotics in, and it has really good flavor too. A frozen banana, well, half of a frozen banana, which you can see here. It's the last one, so I'm gonna freeze some more. Some coconut milk frozen fruit that I got from Target on discount. Pineapple, strawberries, and mango, I believe. So some of that, it's organic. Collard greens, and some pomegranate, if I can open it and if it's still good. So we'll see. Oh, and a couple more things that I'm gonna grab out real quick. Okay, I'm also gonna throw in some flax seed and chia seed for some of those omega-3s, those really healthy, healthy fats, good for your brain and some pea protein, just unsweetened, unflavored protein powder. So first thing I gotta do is cut this open and see if uh, the seeds are still good to add to the smoothie. And we actually brought home a lot of pomegranates from our trip to California. There's a lot of pomegranate trees in the neighborhood that are kind of free for picking. And we also have a whole bag full of avocados from my godmother's tree. They have an avocado tree in California. I think we have like 30 avocados in the fridge. Non-native fruits to New York that we picked from trees in California. So that's kind of cool. Some of this has started to go bad on one of the sides where it looks like there's a bruise, but a lot of the seeds are still good. So I'm still gonna use a, a good number of them. If I ask you... So this is the gross part, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the compost bin and it can go to the chickens. Only better if you set it free. In a new light, okay, I got that pomegranate done successfully avoided getting it all over my light colored pants. Now I'm gonna make the smoothie, it took me a while. Um, pomegranate always takes a while to peel. But if you watch the method I used, it does save a lot of time. 
Okay, so let's make this smoothie. Got my greens. Rising on the Add this as well. I forgot the pomegranates. I'm gonna scoop some pomegranates into the, the smoothie and keep blending it for a minute. You can really smell the grains. You can taste the grains, but super mild. It's It's got a lot of sweetness to it from the banana and the frozen fruit, and it really isn't gross. There's no weird texture because the blender is high powered, so it's nice. And uh, definitely like eating a fruit salad and a fresh salad in a meal with all those like healthy seeds and yep, yep, yep. Really good, easy, quick, like, half of a lunch. Honestly, this could be like a full lunch. It's probably like 400 calories, maybe. I don't know. I don't calorie count, but I think it's helpful to know that you're getting enough calories. So what I'll do is I'll drink this. It's a lot. It's like 24 ounces. I'll drink this smoothie, and then if I'm still hungry, I'll have some hummus with some crackers, maybe some leftovers. We have some leftovers stuff going on right now. And obviously this isn't the most homestead self-sufficient smoothie because a lot of the fruit I used wasn't grown here. My goal is eventually to freeze like strawberries and berries and we'll have apples eventually and peaches and pawpaws and all this stuff. My goal is to eventually have like a freezer, just a freezer full of frozen fruit to put into smoothies because I love making smoothies. They, they're really easy on my digestive system. They're really good for me. They have lots of fiber. And when you juice, you do lose the fiber from your produce. So when you blend, you get all of that fiber. And I just think it's a really good way to get a lot of balanced nutrients when you don't have a lot of time to like prepare a meal and you could just throw it all in the blender. The greens in this smoothie were all grown in our yard. One thing I wanna know about this getting healthy series and just health in general is it's very, um, individualized it's super subjective so what's healthy for me might look very different what's healthy for somebody else so overall I think it's important to know that taking baby steps is really important because if you want something to be sustainable and you want to be healthy in the long term making a whole lot of changes at once is gonna be really hard to maintain so I've been working on being healthy eating healthy and making healthy choices for a long time now so this is just an extension of wanting to make even more healthy decisions about my activity level and getting fruits and vegetables in my diet even in the winter so let me know what you would like to do to be healthier in this season what do you do to get exercise in the winter um, how do you get those fruits and vegetables in your diet we definitely do a lot of soups we have the pumpkins right here I made a lot of um, pumpkin puree, so I've been doing pumpkin soup and pumpkin smoothies actually, which sounds weird, but pumpkin smoothies are really good. I even made pumpkin stuffed shells the other day. We've been using some sauerkraut a little bit more. Last night I froze a lot of our potatoes because they were starting to sprout, so I chopped them up, froze them in bags, and then this morning I had potato hash with peppers from the garden, onions from the garden, potatoes and garlic from the garden. I just like sauteed it all together, topped it with some hot sauce and some sauerkraut 
and it was really delicious. So those are some ways that we're getting those whole foods in our diet in the winter. Um, really, almost every meal we eat still has food from the garden. Another way is by avoiding coffee as much and trying to switch over to teas a little bit more. So you can see this area right over here is a lot of the herbs that I grew. So I've been making some mint tea with mint and then I add a little bit of stevia, which I grew in the garden. So it's just really fun to be able to be eating from the garden even in the winter. Like these pumpkin seeds is a great snack full of protein and I put a little sea salt on them. These obviously came from pumpkins grown in the garden. So there's all kinds of ways to be healthy even in the middle of winter with food grown in your garden. It just takes a little bit of creativity and an adjustment. And I would love to know how, how you do that in your winter season, wherever you are. I do appreciate the break. I love winter. I love the break that it provides. Uh, so it just takes a little bit more creativity to get those fresh foods, fresh foods in my diet. Oh, hey, we have a Christmas tree. That's the only decoration we have this year. A tree with some lights on it, keeping it simple.